Hey there, Bourbon Street Joe here. Welcome back to another 24 hour Tuesday. Pretty stoked for this one actually, because I got this one off a of fellow reviewer. Um, I had not seen its like before, not in my hot little hands anyway. Um, so yeah, this is sizable because uh, it doesn't even fit in frame. This is a 24-hour uh, cold climate operational ration pack, menu number two. So this is a British ration for Arctic climate. I can't recall seeing a video on these. I'm sure they're out there. Um, probably, uh, I'm not sure who would have done it. Probably um, Steve's done everything. Uh, Michael Green Reviews has probably done one. Um, but anyway, um, so we've got a production date of 0818. Um, new stuff. Purchases prohibited. Because we always love to bring that up that we're not supposed to have these, even though we do. She's just playing on the back. Has the usual carry handle on it. Um, but like I said, I've, I've never been inside uh, the older British or... Um, one of these before. Uh, I do have two of the older ORPs, um, which I will be getting to eventually, but uh, I, I want to see what this bugger contains, because good lord, 24 hours. Um, because it's a 080, uh, 0818 production, um, this is probably stale as heck, because they only usually last, um, I think, about a year, um, maybe more. Um, this might be a peelable seal, but then you have to take the handle off, and uh, honestly, it's just going to be easier to open that sucker from behind, and then that way you can yeah, shovel bad your knife is sharpened. But uh, you can still use it as a garbage bag, right? So uh, let's just un pack this uh, this huge mess that we are probably going to accumulate here. Oh, freeze-dried porridge with strawberries. 100 grams. Uh, oh, it's good to uh, 2023. June. So it's uh, just recently expired. So that's not bad. Um, summit to eat foods. So obviously a freeze-dried ration. Uh, nutrition information, how to prepare it. Uh, maxi portion X, MX3 Adventure freeze-dried meal um, red curry noodles and shrimps shrimps who says shrimps nobody says shrimps uh, best before 2020 here's your instructions um, this is Well, it's gusseted. Light, water, one person. And where the heck? Titok production. This is a product of France. Interesting. And repeat. Coffee Weasley. Bah. 30.06.2021. So why the heck do we have porridge with strawberries and a muesli? Also, unless one of those is just nuts, peanuts, almonds, cashews. For allergens, see ingredients in bold. Uh, that would be the nuts. Duh. Uh, Beyond the beaten track, uh, best before uh, 2020. So, like I said, uh, two years. Let's... Oh, here we go. Feedback and prize dry entry form. And porridge, strawberries, coffee, muesli, red curry, noodles, and shrimps. 
Dark chocolate bis chip biscuits, oat digestive biscuits, cherry flavored boiled sweets, milk chocolate bar, beef jerky barbecue, fruit flapjacks, sesame, oh, the sesame seed bar, cookies and cream, cereal bar, just nuts, smoothies, peanut butter, cola drink, grapefruit drink, apple drink, um, that's the scary one, orange flavored hot chocolate powder, coffee, tea, sugar, water purification tablets, tissues, wet wipes, chewing gum, spork, and there's your beyond the beaten stuff so that is obviously the list of ingredients or pardon me components uh, this is a super huge bag yeah, with some windproof waterproof maybe and a striker matches uh, five of those uh, why why Water purification tablets. Add one tablet to one, one liter of clear water. I will just do that for fun. Three in one cough. Three in one coffee. Sugar, sugar. Three in one tea. Three in one tea. So if you have two coffees and two teas that are three in one, why the hell do you have sugar? That's a spork that will take the back of your own throat out. Uh, sugar free strong mints, some V6 white, some V6 white spearmint, the other one's peppermint. Bag. Alright, uh, orange flavored hot chocolate. That always just strikes me as really friggin' weird. Uh, nutritional information there. Uh, 60 grams. Hot water, 500 mils. Jeebus. Britannia super fine, smooth and velvety milk chocolate. That's a big boy, 100 grams. Grapefruit. Drink powder with sugar and sweeteners. Best before 2021. Uh, Odie biscuits. Which seems a little crushed. It's going to be our cookies and cream cereal bar with some weird sticker on it. Um, produced by Vesti Foods, but uh, I'd be interesting to see what's under the sticker. Our boiled sweets which are cherry flavored, some butt ration. Ew. Sesame bar, what the? Best before 0820, that's, look at that. You can actually torque that. I've never seen a sesame bar like that. Usually they're hard as rocks and everybody complains about how they're gonna tear your teeth out. Cola flavored. I uh, don't think I've tried that one. And I haven't heard very positive reviews of that, that's for sure. Uh, flapjacks. Fruit, which are best before 25th of October 2020, and these are pretty much reduced to crumbs. Smooth peanut butter. Kind of hard there. Kind of needable there. Chocolate chip Odie biscuits. Again, beyond the beaten trail. Got our weird apple energy drink. Best before 2022. It's not bad, but it's just kind of odd. And traditional, the traditional barbecue, Supreme Protein King's Jerky, marinated strips of lean beef. Tweet us at King Snacks over 30% protein. That's before September of 2020. And uh, yeah, that's uh, wow, the sum contents of that. So, um, that's it.
That's all. So we'll get that divided up and uh, yeah, we'll bang it out as quickly as I can. Um, so I'll try to keep the video at about 30, 40 minutes. Um, but uh, yeah, be right back. Missed filming it by that much. Most of you won't get that reference. Look up Get Smart. Uh, 1300 and a fluctuating amount of weight. So about 1350, 13. Anyway, we know how this works. About three pounds. <laughs> Got it. Okay, so we're back. We're going to start this ridiculousness with one of our alcohol-free antibacterial wipes. Tear there. Yeah, that smells like nothing. Um, there are our ingredients. Uh, water, something bromide, something diglucanate, poly something something blah 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 blah. So there's no alcohol in this. They are quite moist. They are. Cloth, not quite strong that way, but they're, they're not uh, paper. Pretty good on the hands. Yeah, not bad. And uh, you do get two of those, so that's something. Okay, so ridiculous amounts of liquid here. Um, I realize the this is an Arctic ration, you have to stay hydrated and all that, but good lord. Um, so this is our one liter of water, uh, which we have dropped a um, water purification tablet into, uh, Oasis brand. Um, so do not swallow the tablet in one liter of water and uh, leave for 30 minutes and it expired in January of this year. Um, so I dropped the little tab in there and it just started skittering around in the bottom and it, it's dissolved now, but, um, yeah, so all this, um, yeah. anyway, um, so what we'll do is we'll go with, get our spork out of the way here, um, we have our coffee measly, and I thought I mispronounced that and it was chocolate but I didn't misspeak it's actually coffee and we have our um, red Korean shrimp and our uh, freeze-dried porridge with strawberries um, so water 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 purified water water for cola water for grapefruit water for tea, water for coffee, water for hot chocolate. Five, 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 so a liter and a half. This is, I think, 170, and that's 247. Don't ask me why it's not 250. I don't know. But we'll also start these. So uh, this is 247 mils of water, which I do happen to have. But does it have a hammy in it? Um, so there's an oxygen absorber. Got a chair. It says, oddly enough, remove, as in do not eat. Doesn't smell of anything particular, but uh, at least it doesn't smell like something that's off. So, and that was. Uh, 247 mils of hot water, um, as they put it, hot or cold, and uh, let stand for five minutes. Now, I believe it, most of these drinks also specify um, 80 degrees centigrade, but not boiling water. Um, okay, so I guess once you boil it, you just leave it sit for a bit because you don't want it boiling, boiling. Yes. Um, 
definitely gusseted, but you're going to have to reach into the sides because and that should take five minutes to do its thing. So we'll zip that up and put it aside for now. Okay. Coffee measly. 150 mils of water. Um, warm or cold? Your choice. So we'll go with hot. That's the gusset, that's not. Seems fine. Again, nice gusset on it. Um, and this was, was that again? One, one fifth. Okay. So this one I'll actually go with my handy damn Canadian Forces insulated canteen. Uh, because honestly, I think I drained the kettle like twice trying to pull this off. 150. And it's always better to spell on the concrete floor. So in that goes to there. And again, I try to spill off camera. Just to give you the illusion that I know what I'm doing. And anybody that's met me knows I don't. So just try to get everything out of the corners. Hmm. Definite coffee. Smell and flavor to it now. And that's going to sit for three to five minutes as well. And then we have our red curry noodles and shrimp. I feel very bubble jump when I say that. Um, okay. That immediately smells like fish and coconut. And that's 250 and 10 to 15 minutes of rehydration. Okay, 250 that sucker. And if nobody's ever seen me open that before, that's looks like there you got your little cap and your little hot toddy shot on top um, and that almost looks like a ramen kind of instant noodle to me but uh, so that's uh, yeah this one's kind of like Just slowly pour and stir at the same time. I think I'm just gonna probably take that off camera and shake it a bit. Just so everything settles and hopefully the noodles get into the boiling water there. Uh, and again, that's 10 to 15 minutes. So we got five, three to five, and 10 to 15. Um, now the drink silliness. Um, so 200 mils of not boiling water. And that's in our 
Canadian Forces issue Mel Mac mug. Um, oh, okay, so you can actually tell your coffee from your sugar and whitener. In she goes. Smells like a three in one coffee. Um, and it says stir thoroughly, which I will um, once I get three in one tea. This is 170 mils of boiling water. Which we'll have in our Canadian Forces issue Mel Mac cup. And that just looks like powder powder. As that slowly sinks below the waves. Uh, we have our hot chocolate drink orange flavor. There are reverse tear knots on that one, but uh, powder. There we go. This smells hot chocolatey, it does not smell of orange. Um, to anybody uh, watching, uh, th th this seems eerily familiar. That Mac Rasher guy, um, damn his sweet little soul. Um, he just released his video, um, which I commented on already, uh, on his 24 hour uh, ORP, which was um, not an Arctic one, but just a regular one. Um, so, curse you, you big beautiful man you for doing that, because as serendipity would have it, of course, um, you know, same thing with CT and I, we both reviewed the same, uh, that's the grapefruit, uh, the same ration within like a day of each other or something like that, it was just like one of those things where you have it in your collection and you're like, hey, why don't I, and oddly enough, uh, that's the cola one. It smells cola bottle-ish, and again, this is not well reviewed by most people. Um, almost nobody likes it, but it is what it is, I guess. Uh, let's try, uh, let's try our cola. A lot of bits in that. I think we may just let it settle and then come back to it. Grapefruit one is vaguely pink. Our three in one coffee. And that's why they say stir thoroughly because it's done that. And that seems like mostly um, coffee, but there is there is sugar involved as well. Like, it's not cool. That's better. A tea. Same thing. And again, once I taste everything, I still honestly don't figure that I can actually decide what the hell to do with um, your coffee, because or your coffee, sorry, your sugar. Like everything's a three in one. I don't think you need to add it to hot chocolate, which is again probably oh that one. All nicely. Might have a slight scent of orange to it now. Maybe. Uh, anyway, um, while we're waiting on that, and we have to stir that, we have to stir that, and that needs a bit more time. Um, let's rapid fire on some of these. Traditional barbecue beef jerky. Three 
fairly dark looking. Definitely a like a formed product. It's not just like chunks of beef. It's fairly soft, doesn't taste bad. Sugar before salt, which is what I'm tasting. Not a, not a lot of other flavors coming through on it, really. I don't know if it's be uh, barbecue, but it's fine. Um, probably gonna run out of spaces to put everything. Um, Try this hot mess first. A flapjack, fruit flapjack, I believe. Yes, fruit flapjack. Again, this has been reduced to near 40 bits and fruity bits. That may be a little off. not off that's just the that's just the flavor mm. and the smell so for you Brits flapjacks are not what we call flapjacks in here in North America we would just call them pancakes the Americans can refer to them as flapjacks but that would be more what the reference is not that Odi thingy um, sesame bar which is oddly like they're never like that they're hard as rocks like these all three of them are just melded together I've never seen that That tastes a lot like sesame. Duh. Um, not very really sugary, to be honest. Um, which is interesting. And this cookies and cream flavored cereal bar. And again, it's got a label stuck to it, so I am curious to see what's under it. Um, pretty standard though, it's just a Rice Krispie bar. Soft, a little chewy, a little crunchy. Definitely get the chocolate off that. Not, yeah, like a strong, a lot of chocolate flavor, not a lot of chocolate, if that makes any sense. Like, it's just not. Not like a milk or a dark or anything else. It's just like vaguely like Oreo cookie cookie part, not the cream part, but and again cookies and cream. But yeah, not really to my liking. Uh, just nuts. Um, so these are going to be literally just nuts. They're not even. Like Salted, they're not. Oh god, they're not. They're not salted. They're not roasted. They're just nuts. Um, Ten percent cashews. Well, there's a sizable handful of nothing but peanuts and almonds. Cashew piece, I think. Nope. Anyway, um, those are a little, little stale. They're they're not rancid, but they're a little stale. 
Odie Biscuits. These have probably seen better days because they feel like they're a little pulverized. Oh, these kind of smell bad. Nope, they're just hmm, really dry and really oaty. Chocolate. Chocolate chip oat biscuits. Tack till I did that. Mm hmm, a little sweeter. You can definitely taste the chocolate more than the oats. Everybody's having a giggle at that one. Like a whoopee cushion here. Uh, I may open that at the end because that's going to take more kneading than I'm willing to give it right now. And for the sake of brevity, we're trying to move on here. So, coffee, three in one. Good. Tastes like an instant, obviously. It's not too sweet, not too creamy. Which I think is where Nescafe sweet and creamy kind of falls down. Is it's too sweet, too creamy. Three in one tea. Almost got like a bit of a tang to it. Not like it's sugared, creamed, iced tea, but almost. Um, got the other one here. Sugar, creamer, instant dark tea powder. Okay, so there's no other flavorings to it, so. I could be imagining things. Um, the two over there. Uh, let's see if either of these has done. I think so. Okay, let's try. Oh, chocolate muesli. Apparently I did not close that very well. Sorry, coffee muesli. Because... Okay, well, we've stirred it back up again, so maybe a little, a little sloppier than I like it, but... That a taste without getting it everywhere. It's got a decent coffee flavor to it. I honestly can't say I'd want to do that cold. And I mean, if it's an Arctic operation. I don't think I'd be wanting cold cereal first thing in the morning anyway. Um, our other oddly... Here's another breakfast meal. Meal. And that's probably why it says on the package, and stir, which I did not do. I just let it sit. So that one's a little... 
A little more water on top again. But quick stir should get her through. And we've got berries of some sort. Strawberries. Um. Hmm. That has almost no strawberry flavor. But considering it's only 2% diced freeze-dried strawberries with no added ingredients. It's not even added sugar or flavor, so. You get the hint of strawberries. Uh, the much maligned um, cola. That is like eating sour cold bottles, straight up. There is that artificial cola flavor to it, but um, it has a real tartness to it as well. I'm okay with that. I, I was even thinking of going halfers on the powder and just like trying to put the other in soda water and see if it would taste more like pink grapefruit. Cola, not, not, not pink grapefruit. It's not really grapefruity. Not a lot of tang to it. You get more of like a, a citrus oil than a grapefruit flavor, really. Um, yeah, let's go with our hopefully better reconstituted Didn't bother to stir it. Um, red curry with noodles. Uh, I think there's gonna, there's going to be a sizable crunch involved in this. I think it sat for 10 to 15 minutes, but uh, let's try that, shall we? That hasn't reconstituted for long enough. It's not crunchy. Noodles are a little chewy. I'm getting a lot of fishy kind of flavor off that. Let's see, like fish, fish sauce or anything, but. Yeah, really fishy flavor off that. It's good. Don't get me wrong, it's good. Um, what the heck else do we have? The energy drink, I'm not going to... The apple flavor, I'm not going to do. I've done it before, and yeah, it, it can be missed. Um, I almost hate to open these, but... in your hands. Well, I guess. Twenty-five percent cocoa solids, fourteen percent milk. I 
Yeah, that's not even really as good as a dairy milk bar, to be honest. Um, yeah. Oh. Um. That and. I'm going to clean this up, get this all packed away, ready for my lunch and several meals over the next couple of days. I'll come back with this um, away and uh, we'll be off. Be right back. And we're back. So what we didn't do, use, etc. footage of that opening up so there's what we have there's what we have left to try uh, and in case I forgot to actually sip it on camera I did try the hot chocolate um, yeah orange flavored um, definitely not a Terry's chocolate orange or the last usual terrible candy that was left in a pot of gold box because everybody knew it was the orange cream and nobody wanted to eat it um, yeah, so we just have our, um, oh, hang on, one liter of um, sterilized water. Which tastes exactly like tap water. So. So other than our peanut butter and uh, what I just showed you, we have... Again, and not sit about a hundred and seventy six, maybe a hundred and eighty grams or six ounces, roughly. So, out of three pounds, um, well, a six of that is going to be garbage and it's going to be some sizable garbage you have to deal with too right um, not something you can just stuff in your rock like you're going to have to... yeah anyway, um, might as well try this one first so I can taste it a little sticky a lot sticky I might get some plastic here. Almost like a halfway between just a straight up cherry candy and a cherry cough drop if you couldn't really taste the medicinal stuff. Uh, peppermint. There's two in there, I'll try for one. <laughs> Chew's not bad. Gets um gets straight in your nostrils, that's for sure. You can tell it's sugar free. Uh, artificial sweeter to it. Uh, the thing I will not enjoy. Mm. Exact same gum with that wonderful spearmint flavor, which I have no idea why I detest. I just I don't like spearmint. And then we got a couple of strong mint sugar free gum. I may have misspoken and said these were mints at the beginning. Hmm. 
It's the same crunchy outer shell as the other two. Same artificially sweetened flavor. A little more nosy, so a little more maybe menthol in that one. But um, I believe this has gone on long enough. Um, so that was our 24 hour British Arctic or cold climate um, operational rush back. And I'm um, Burpin Street Joe. And I'm out.